Is it focused? Okay. It's like it's not known that black girls be doing Pilates. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But we be doing Pilates, okay? Can I do this too? What's up, good people? How y'all doing? Here we are. We made it to the Pilates studio. I'm finally recording this video. It's January the 4th, 2024. Happy New Year. I do not have an intro for this channel because, you know, there were some mean people in my comment section about my graphics for the map of Serbia. So, my apologies to you all. Did not mean to offend you, but that's how the graphics are on that software that I use. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, hello. My name is Felicia McCreary, and my friends call me Michelle, and I live here in Belgrade, Serbia. I am from Columbia, South Carolina. How are y'all doing, my Columbia, South Carolina family? I am a certified balanced body Pilates instructor. Your girl did it. I finished it. It took me two years, but I finished it. So, we're going to get right into the video, okay? So, I started going to Pilates here with a group. Um, there was one of the girls in the group that recommended like, hey, you know what, let's go to Pilates. We can like start doing Pilates as a group. Let's just go for fun. I'm like, okay, cool. We'll go for fun. Did that. And I instantly fell in love with Pilates. And I don't even know how to explain my love for Pilates. Like, it made my body feel so good. And at the time, I was getting ready to start IVF. So... I was like really, really excited about it because I'm like, okay, I'm not putting too much stress on my body. I can still do this. I can still do this and be okay, you know? So we started going to classes. Um, and to make a long, I don't want to draw this story out, but we started going to classes. After like the second or third month of us going to classes, I learned that my instructor, at, I'm sorry, let me, I learned that my instructor at the, at the studio that we were going to which was the Like Pilates studio here located in Belgrade, Serbia, that she was a master Pilates instructor and that she could actually teach me how to become a Pilates instructor myself. And I was like, girl, sign me up. Stop playing with me, sign me up. What do I sign up at? Because I want to be a Pilates instructor too. Can I do this too? <laughs> okay, too much. I was doing so good all right so then she's like yeah sure and so she told me when the classes would start i started taking my classes and my like during the the time frame that i was taking my classes like of course yeah i started ivf and i was doing other things it was i posted like my progress online and some of the messages that i was getting were just kind of like how is pilates over there in belgrade serbia do you like it like how do they treat you is everything like cool like how did you find out about it? All these questions. And then I was like, everything's fine. Everything's cool. And then it was like, well, it's not a lot of black women that do Pilates. And I was like, it's got to be. Like, I, I didn't know that this was a thing until I started posting my information online about, like, I'm becoming an instructor. I'm doing student teaching hours. Like, all of these things. And it didn't make me sad, but it was like, where are we at? And the, the, the part that kind of like, it didn't tickle me, but it was just like, the questions that were being asked was like, well, um, is it intimidating? Or like, are you able to do it? Or do people make fun of you? And I'm like, why are you asking me these questions? And it was because they got made fun of or they were intimidated by Pilates. And I was like, how can it, like, I was just so lost in the sauce, y'all. Like, I had no idea that it was even a thing. And so I was like, okay. Maybe, maybe my why needs to be something geared towards helping women that look like me feel more comfortable in this area of health. And like, I didn't know how else to describe it. And to me, I'm not making it about race, but it's more like we deserve that type of training and like that can we, we deserve that type of community as well you know and it is women out there that look like me that are doing pilates but they're hard to find and so i wanted to make myself easily available to be found hello <laughs> hi 
teach Pilates. And I look like you if you're looking for somebody that looks like me, okay? So, um, I don't know where this image or where this view came from where it's like only one type of person can do Pilates. I guess because that's the majority of people that are doing Pilates. That makes sense to me now, but before it didn't because I was like so engaged in it to where I didn't see that until I started like reading on the Balanced Body website to where they were talking about diversity in Pilates, like these diversity programs, diversity scholarships. And I was like, why y'all need all that? Like, what y'all doing? And there's like a, there was a diversity scholarship for Pilates instructors. So it helped me to see like it is a thing and I had no idea. So my why for becoming a Pilates instructor changed. And basically what I would like to do on this channel is to teach I want to teach women that have body structures that look like me how to deal with things like that if you go to a Pilates studio what to look for how your body is supposed to be positioned because it's all about foundation and posture I'll give you an example so like I can be in a class and it's no disrespect to my teacher or anybody else that is like they're familiar with their body type Okay, I, I got to go there because these are some of the things that women like myself who look like me are concerned about or they talk about and they are intimidated to go to these classes because they're like, no, I'm not shaped like that. I'm not, I don't look like that. And it, it's a real thing for people. And for me, I was like, well, I'm not really worried about all that. But it's like one day I was in class and I think we were using like the pinky ball and she was telling us to put it on a certain area of our body. And I was like, girl, I don't feel that right. That's my back. Like, that's my back. But it was her butt. <laughs> Excuse me. It was like, it was her glutes, but it was like my back. And I was like, I don't feel it. I don't feel it right there. I feel it here. And it's like, she was doing the right cueing. Like, she was doing everything that she was supposed to do. And there was nothing wrong with it, but based on how her body type was, it was just kind of like, it was different. And that's all I can say about it. It was like, okay, but if you tell me to put it here, then I can feel it like this. I keep touching the back part of my, in the area. I keep touching my lower back area because that's where we were rolling on the ball and stuff. And I was like, I don't, I just don't feel it there. And because of our anatomy being different, it made sense why I wouldn't feel it there. So just seeing like those little things, it's like, it made me kind of like, I didn't feel a certain type of way about it, but it made me try to understand more of like, okay, how do you work with different body types? And if you do have like different body types, like how does that work? And so the more I kept studying, the more I kept going to classes, then I started to understand like, okay, there's different types of like postures. And I'll get into that in the next video. So I want you to be comfortable. I want you to be comfortable with like showing up, being, I want you to be confident when you go to a class. It doesn't have to be my class. I mean, I'm here in Belgrade, Serbia. I mean, if you're here in Belgrade, Serbia and you see this video, hey girl, hey, my website is www.thepilatestraveler.com. Sign up for a class. I'm here. I will teach you. And it's fun over here. And I serve tea after class. Matcha lattes, ginger tea, and chai tea. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, so I want you to be confident when you go like to your next class, whether it be in the States, whether it be, I don't, I don't know where it's going to be. At. All I know is I want you to be comfortable when you go. So um, that's basically why and how I became a Pilates instructor. If you want more information about like the process, like how much it costs and things like that, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know like in detail like what you want to know talk to me engage with me let me know because i do read all the comments um i like i said i didn't know that it was that much of a need for women that look like me to be teaching pilates but here i am i am certified i am ready to go i am certified in teaching the reformer but however we do have areas in our um instructional theory that allow us to teach that so i can do that too <laughs> I can do all the things. Y'all, these lights are hot. Whoever said these lights, these lights are hot. 
<laughs> okay? I'm glad the lights are a thing. However, it's hot. Um, anyways, I'm gonna close this video out. I feel like I'm rambling because I'm a little nervous because I'm a little introverted and it's like I'm talking to y'all but I'm talking to myself. It's kind of weird but it's like it's easy for me to do when I'm in my car. Like when I'm in my car, it's like I'm jamming out. I have music, I have everything, but I don't have music or anything. It's just me talking to you guys. So this is my first video like this for the new year. Um, bear with me. I'm trying to get better at like my content. If you're interested in this type of content, make sure you thumbs up this video, like it and all of that good stuff. Leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel so I can keep producing more videos like this and I can keep informing you ladies or gentlemen um, the different things that come with Pilates or just everything Pilates. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!